Hello there CW fans. This is the Key 8 paddle with keyer made by Electro Instrument. I believe Electro Instrument went out of business in like 2012 and there are still a number of these paddles out there. Um, they were made by this company Electro Instrument that did a lot of military contract stuff and I think they were in the aerospace industry so I think this was maybe something else that they did uh, in addition to what they normally did um, but it is really a really cool piece of machinery. Uh, the neat thing is that it actually has a keyer built in. This is the speed control knob. There's, uh, I believe there's like a little, um, maybe a piezoelectric uh, tone generator inside so you can actually hear. And all of the connections happen through this five pin bin socket. It takes um, 9 volts, I think you can go all the way up to 12 volts or something like that, uh, for input to be able to get this running and then it has um, outputs for the dits and the DAS, um, or actually I should say the, um, the output of the keyer, which I'll explain in just a minute. But as is usual for a lot of the other keys that are out there or paddles that are out there, um, you've got um, two finger pieces here. Uh, when you push on one of them, it creates contact with the this post here. So this post is connected to the left side. This is connected to the right side. So you've got um, uh, dots over here and dashes over here. And from what I understand, the contact points are silver for each one of these. So that's kind of cool. This is not magnetic, it is spring loaded, and I'm not sure if you can see in there, there's a spring that you can adjust the tension with this little thumb screw right here. These are plastic, uh, I don't even think they're acrylic, they're just straight up plastic, and um, these, these are uh, metal pieces that, that run back there, and then there's like a little bushing here that goes around this post to um, act as a stop. So you're probably wondering, well, wait a second, what is this whole key thing, this key or thing that you're talking about? Well, I took it apart because I'm probably going to modify it. Um, there's a set screw for this um, speed adjustment, and underneath there is a way. I'm just going to see if I can flip this over. Underneath there is a screw in the middle that allows you to take that bottom plate off. So I'm going to try to do this single-handed. And this bottom plate, we'll just get this out of the way. As you can see there is a circuit board inside of here which is pretty wild. Now this circuit board, see this is uh, 2285, so yeah, it looks like it's maybe 1992. I'm guessing that's what that means. Maybe uh, April of 1992. But the circuit board, is, this is actually a keyer. It is non-iambic, which means that when you press these and hold them together, they don't make the letter C or a da-da-da-da-da-da, or, you know, or a period or whatever. Um, it, it just, uh, you have uh, dots and dashes, and that's that. There's... Um, I'm not sure what some of these integrated circuits are. I haven't looked them up, but what I was thinking about doing was maybe making a new PCB and putting a K1EL keyer in here instead and utilizing this. I haven't hooked this up, so I don't really know exactly how it sounds or how it works, and I was quite frankly just going to go with something a little bit more modern, although I hate to modify it. You know, this is... Um, you know, what I would consider a vintage key. I think these were pretty popular in Russia in the 80s and maybe even the 90s. I know they, I think they were uh, pumping them out pretty solidly in the 80s, at least from what I've read on the internet. And um, it's it's a pretty solid key. It's a pretty solid paddle. The, the weight on this, I think it's three and a half pounds. So it's definitely not going to go anywhere. But, uh, yeah, this is what this looks like. You can see the back side of the, uh, 
the DIN connect the five pin DIN connector here, and you can see the attach points from the uh, the left and the right um, posts on the top that help make it ha uh, have it make contact. Um, they they put some epoxy into some of these screw holes, so you uh, I'm thinking they didn't want them to back out. Um, so I think this whole metal piece they, they wanted to stay solid. Although there are adjustment screw holes, or I, I think you could just uh, take these out so you can then remove these if you need to service them. There is a website on the internet that talks about this key a little bit, and it's uh, morrisx.com, M-O-R-S-E-X.com slash E-I. So um, the EI stands for Electro Instrument, which is the factory that did um, did pump these out, and these were uh, mostly done, you know, throughout the uh, the Soviet era, and then after the uh, Soviet collapse, they were uh, continuing to make them. I think until 2012 is what it said. So we've got uh, four inches round here. Um, this this whole thing is about three inches high, just to kind of give you a perspective. Um, this is what it's like with uh, my hand. The cool thing is, uh, I don't know if you can see back here, there's like, it's it's not exactly a spring, but you know, it, it's like a steel spring um, with a contact point back here. So it kind of creates this cool little like tension feeling. So if you kind of really squeeze on your paddles, it gives, it gives some, it has some give to it. So that's kind of neat. And then of course, um, as all the other paddles, you know, you've got the, the adjustable thumb screws here and then the finger lock. So you can kind of like adjust those in. But yeah, really solid key, uh, really solid paddle. And um, again, this is the K E K the key eight paddle uh, from Russia. I think the um, the region that it came from was. Uh, Verona's or something like that. Verona's uh, Russia. So really cool paddle. Um, the, the I don't know how old this is. Like I said, I think I think that date stamp on here said what is it? 1994 maybe. 1992. And the the chrome on here is still in like pretty mint condition, with the exception of all of my fingerprints. But um, that's just the way it goes. Uh, I wish I could uh, have it set up to. Uh, do a little demo but I don't I think I'm going to I think I am going I'm gonna preserve this board so I can have it just in case I want to put it back to the way it was but I think I'm going to uh, create a new circuit board and uh, and find a cool little pot to um, to match this so I could I can put that back on there as a speed control and maybe adapt a k1 el uh, key or chip on here and uh, use it with that so there you go Electro instrument key eight paddle.